actually been doing them doesn't even make sense to you we're talking about all this studio on the show and of course i have giveaways on the show but i want to go on this break right now when i get back i'll talk about my giveaways you have your call and you get to meet my guest in the studio stay tuned this is deep waters Home to about 20 million people are sitting right at the bank of the Atlantic Ocean, Lagos is the economic nerve center of Nigeria's economy. Now, with a population of this size, there are bound to be issues, and with the city of Lagos, many of these issues need urgent attention. What the government and the private sector are doing to collaborate to ensure that all of these issues are brought to an end is what this program will look to highlight and bring to you. I am Will Sinomoni, and this is Lagos. Welcome back to Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. Yes, indeed, these waters are about to get really deep because we're shaking the waters on the topic New Year's resolution. Is it pointless or powerful? To be a part of the conversation, the number to call is 0705-993-6937. And of course, I have my very special guest in the studio. But before I introduce him again, I want to remind you that I'm doing, I have like five tickets for the Celebrity Video Game Challenge coming up on January 7th at Wave Beach, hosted by VJ Adams. So you can be a part of the conversation or be one of our lucky winners of these tickets. You know, into this video game challenge where you get to play several games, meet people, network, have drinks, have food. You know, I feel like I'm going to be there too. So, yeah, you can be a winner of this ticket by just calling in and being a part of the conversation. My guest, Jason Elijah, Elijah Jason Oyibo, aka. <laughs> I had like to call his Jason Rob. <laughs> Why are you giving me that face now? <laughs> What's up? How are you doing today? Oh my God! Good to have you, Jason. It's been a, it's too. been a while. Yes, I, I love the reunion we're having on, on on the show today. I mean, it was bound to happen now. It was so. bound to happen. How do you mean? It was to happen now. I just us together. Ah. Uh, Jason, what's going on? This is not the Jason we see on social media. Who is the Jason we see on this, social Jason media? Jason we see on social media is he, he's, he's a gym enthusiast, he's a dancer, mm -hmm. he's a content creator. Mm -hmm. Then now I'm not seeing Jason sitting down like a fish. What am, what am I supposed to be doing? If I you tear, tear my shirt and be like, yeah. Yes, yay. exactly. How about that, I for instance? Nobody should stress me. It's a new year. Anything that concerns stress. I'll let it avoid me. So it's stress, but it's, it's, it's something that is related to your social media is now stress now. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. I mean, I'm in a chill, chill mode right now. Happy New Year to you. Year. Is it the New Year? Is it the New Year energy that's making you in a chill mode though? No, I mean, I'm just like, you know, very, you know, when it's time for us to turn up, don't worry. But when it's time for us to have serious conversations. Oh, you mean? I think. Like deep, meaningful conversations on deep waters, yes, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Good to have you on the show and thanks for joining. Yeah. I'm, yeah, so let's start with New Year. When I, when I send the topic to you, what came to your mind? New I mean, Year's resolutions, is it pointless or powerful? Like for you, what is it? Uh, I don't know if you have a minute. I can just talk about. I can just illustrate it if that's okay. Okay. So um, just think about the whole new year. It's like a, like a battlefield, right? Mm -hmm. And you know the challenges you choose to pick are like the enemies you decide to fight with. Mm -hmm. So new year resolutions are like it's like you choosing your battle. You have made this a video game literally. But it's, Jason. It's, I think it's easier. We to know continue. you love video games and all that animation thing. <sighs> Literally, this is what you're doing. You're it's just okay. So basically, right? New Year's res resolutions is like you picking your battles. It's mm. like you're deciding that I'm going to fight this giant, this giant, this giant, and defeat them. Mm. And um, because people are not prepared for it, it's like you choosing a battle mm -hmm. that you have not trained for. So New Year's resolution, like, is like a double-edged sword. Mm. If you are prepared for it, it works for you and it's going to drive you. If you are mm. disciplined, if you have trained yourself then it's going to help, you know, keep you in focus and keep you in check, keep you, account keep you accountable. Mm. But if you're just like, you know, letting life, it's just lip service. You're only setting yourself up for disappointment. Mm. So it's powerful, 
but at the same time, it's also, should I say, it can be poisonous too. Because when you now look at back at the end of the year, hmm. which many people do in December, they're not like, ah, I still this my New Year resolution, I did not achieve it. Hmm. When people are now listening at their achievements, and you just be there hiding because you, you've not been able to hmm. achieve anything that you know you set out for. So it's a double-edged sword. It's powerful if you are prepared and if you have planned. Mm -hmm. But if you have not planned... I think the problem we have is why do we have to wait until like New Year before we now say, oh, I'm resolving to do this, I'm resolving to do that. Like, why? Why? So I think humans, by default, right, humans, um, humans have decided to live by certain standards. People need help, and that's why they have things like the calendar month. People need a guide. Hmm. So the New Year, even banks, too, have financial year hmm. that they set out for. So... Everybody needs a bit of a guide and a bit of a benchmark, mm. a time benchmark. So mm -hmm. I think that's why many people like um, wait to the end of the year and all that mm. to make their New Year resolutions and mm. all that. Which is not so bad if you have it planned. But at the same time, though, if it's important to you, I don't think you have to wait to the end of the year to get busy. Did you, for you, 2022, mm -hmm. did you start the year with New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I did. I had plans. I didn't start it like, you know, go and podcast it, talk about it with people, mm. but I started the year with goals in mind, mm -hmm. and I, I think I achieved... Were they written, or were they written in your heart, or So what? they were written, they were written. Or written on social media? I don't I don't say everything on social media, contrary to what a lot of people say. So I have, <laughs> I have a personality on social media that I want you to see. I don't... I believe in the art of misdirection, right? Okay, so you've been misdirecting us, basically. I mean, for you that decided to stalk me, it's your business. I'm a stalker, <laughs> I agree. I'm a Jason Rose stalker. Well, yeah, so, you know, I think I had plans, and I was able to hit most of my goals. Many of them, I'm, already, I'm still hitting them right now. Mm -hmm. So, it's for me, I prepared, and, you know, it has been working out so far, so good. So, this year, now, you have... New Year's resolutions? Oh, yes, I have New Year's resolutions. Well, you want to share some of them with us? One is that I'm going to buy a Lexus Jeep SUV. Okay. That's one of my Are you serious? Because we are smiling now. It's like smiling water because... misdirecting us again. Don't misdirect no, us. No, I'm, I'm this is deep waters with Deborah okay, Waters. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's get serious now. Yes, um, please. One of my New Year's resolutions um, this year is um, I'm going to be hitting a certain financial target. Okay. I've um, initiated, initiated some things and hopefully it works out well. But the good thing about when I set my target is that I, as much as possible, I become very flexible mm. and I adapt. Because theory is very from practical. And you know the way life works. Mm. Man proposes, God disposes. Mm -hmm. So you just have to flow with tide, but keep your goals, you know, in view. Uh, that's just one of the things you say you're going to do this year. Financial target. Is that all there is to life? No, no. I have financial target. I have relationship target. Oh, you have, have relationship target. Yeah. What's your relationship target? Well, I want to marry and have There's one black children. fine girl I even saw in your... Is this status of page safe? My star, you see a lot of fine girls. Which of them? No, there's one particular black fine one that you're like, ah, my baby or something. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> is that one of your... Is she one of your resolutions for the year? No, no, not really. Okay, I was joking about the whole marriage stuff. But, um. Ah, ah you don't want to marry? I don't know. Like my, this, 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 let's focus on New Year's resolution, Jerry. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about New Year's resolution in relationship to, in, in, in terms of relationship. So for me, for me, relationship-wise, I think I'm going to be focusing on stability and more of a purpose. I have a direction in life that I'm planning to achieve. Mm -hmm. So I have planned. The thing about relationship is, is two people. Mm -hmm. And I can't be making New Year's resolution about relationship with a defi defined goal. When there's no limit, there's going to be in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So I have a plan. I have something I would like to happen. But relationship is the least of my worries. Ah. And it's the least of my resolutions. So, ah. but yeah. Could, could, you, could you share with us why, though? Ah, is this... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious. Like, so, so for me, for me, like... So you know some people woke up this year and say, this year, ah, I'm also have get married. Get, hey, I'm doing this. Ah. And for someone who's not as ginger as you, I'm in wondering this why. In this economy, people that have mar get married, they have mind, though. Me... I'm not ready to start, um, you know. But for me, basically, right, for, for me, the relationship resolution this year is to mm. have more stability and more focus. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, to to align with someone who is more in, um, you know, who prioritizes the same things that I, as I do. Because mm. I have a destination. I have a five-year goal. Mm -hmm. I have a one-year goal, right? Mm -hmm. So my five-year goal, this one-year goal has to be leading me in that direction. Mm -hmm. If my relationship, it works. So, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about... Um, setting New Year's resolution, especially when there are other factors 
that will affect the result. Now, there's one thing to, oh, you said something about, oh, battlefield, choosing your battles. You can set them and say, oh, I want to do this. I want to stop smoking. I'll do this. I want to do this. But there are also other factors, mm -hmm. especially there, when, a, when the kind of resolution that depends on other factors that if this person does not say yes to this your resolution, you cannot move forward. You can only do your best. What happens in that situation? So um, this is how it works, right? That's what, that's what you call... Um, strategy you have to align a strategy so the goal is constant mm -hmm. but your route should be flexible if this person does not say yes this person should say yes and if this person says yes fine and good but if the person you have mm. to have a plan a plan b plan That's c that's a deep one the yeah. goal should be constant but, but the, the route should, should be, be flexible, flexible. Mm. yeah because ultimately you have to have a plan and uh, we, I be, I'm, a, I'm a christian so i believe in god mm -hmm. i put god in your plans many times i feel it's a case of wait or I have something better. Well, so see, this, be this, this God thing is very controversial because some people will say, oh, ah, God, oh, because God is in charge, I will just be here. I've seen people, ah, God is in charge, just leave it. Do you leave it everything for God? God will take control of it. I will just pray five nights and, <laughs> and, and fast, 20 <laughs> nights. Uh, God will take charge of it. They put all those things and say, God, 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 but they do not put in, even when they put in the effort, they don't put in the right amount of effort. Like, when you can put in 10, they put in 2 and leave the rest for God, your thoughts. So that's the place, that's where the place of preparation comes into, you know, action. Like I said, you have to prepare. The fact that there's a God factor, which I just brought in, and which is, which many people have in mind, I think is a case of adequately prepare yourself. Because if you are going to involve the God factor, the say faith without work is dead. Mm -hmm. You have to put in the work. Even if you, if you put in less work than someone that does not believe, that is an atheist, mm -hmm. the atheist will get results because... They put in the work, so you have to put in the work. Then, hopefully, and submitting yourself to the higher power you believe in, I think you you'll be able to get the best results. Because, like I said, it's a case. Most for me, I don't know about how it works for other people. It's, it was usually a case of wait, or I have something better when mm -hmm. I'm not getting what I want when mm -hmm. I want it. So yeah. I think New Year's resolution for me is just a hype, if you ask me. What's your what, what's your, your New Year's resolution? Ah, uh, didn't you hear what I said? I think it's just a hype. People just hype around it, things that they think that they can do or they think they want to change, okay. but they don't have, re they don't make like deliberate efforts to change it. So okay. every year it comes out and says, oh, this is my New Year's resolution. Uh, this is what I want. It's like what you aspire to be that never really gets done. And then so many people jump on that hype, that hype, that, oh, New Year's resolution, ah, not doing this year, ah, I go marry, I go buy cow. Uh, this so you year, don't believe in New Year resolution? I so. really, honestly, do not really believe in it. I feel like, yes, you can actually resolve to do things, but I feel like, one, you don't have to wait until January 1st to actually make decisions on, on what to do or where to go with your life. I think also if you make those list of things and write them on the calendar and paste them on your board, if you do not put it, if you're not strategic about it, mm -hmm. if you don't take workout goals, the dreams are just going to be dreams and they're going to be sitting on your walls for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. That, that works as well. I, I believe that's also a good approach. And I subscribe to that too. Uh, but for me, the reason why I'm, I set New Year resolutions because I try to hold myself accountable. Now, this is how it works. It's, okay. For me, it's like a cheat of... If I have a New Year resolution I didn't meet last year, I will add it to the one so of So it will be carry over? It's, I will carry it over now. Will you come and beat me because I've not achieved one of last But carry year. over New Year's resolution doesn't even make sense. It's because it's supposed to be your goal for the year and then you didn't get it. You, you try not carry again. it over again. You try again. You try again or you Shello get don't it. Any. Why are you trying again? <laughs> it's a case of... It's a case of... No, I mean, give, look at life. Tell me you have succeeded at everything you put your hand on. You have mm. never failed at it. Tell me you have succeeded at every Deep. single thing. You have to always try again. So you try once, you know, see Buari. Buari tried for a very long time. Are you kidding president. me? Are you using Buari as an example? But Buari had a resolution to be president one time. I did not work out and he's now president of Nigeria. Thank wow. you, Uncle Blaze. Wow. <laughs> Wow. But, but, but I hope you are resolving to vote this year, though. I have you gotten uh, your PVC? Yeah, of course I have. Is it part of your union resolution? In fact, everybody, no, every no Nigerian, your, your new year's resolution should be on the list that you are going to vote this year. Is it You're on going to get your PVC. It, yes, it's on top of my list. But I thought you said you have a list. I, I mean, list in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't create the list, but something okay. in my head. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I mean, it's going to be a good year. Voting is part of it, so yes. it's just a matter of... And who are you voting for? Uh, why? Why? Uh, leave me alone now. Uh. I'm just curious <laughs> as to who you are voting for this so new I'm year. I'm voting for who I'm voting for. That's all. I'll be so boring. 
Ah, ah, Buhari is not contested for a third term now, is he? Okay, just checking. Because, <laughs> okay. I mean, at, at this point, you can create it. <laughs> To be a part of this conversation, call in on 0705-993-6937. We're talking about um, New Year's resolution. Is it powerful or pointless? Like, all these years I have been creating, I've been writing New Year's resolution. Uh, what, has it given you, empowered you? Has it empowered you or is it pointless? What are your thoughts on New Year's resolution? And the ones that set New Year's resolution that don't actually achieve it, what are the points? I really want to know. I can see a caller now. Let's take some calls. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, please do want to call back. Happy New Year to you. The number to call is 0705-993-6937. We're talking about New Year's resolution. Powerful or pointless? Let me hear you talk, public. Hello? Hello? Okay, is there something wrong with our phone lines or is it the network now? All right, don't forget, I'm giving out four tickets. Yeah, four tickets for the Celebrity Video Game Challenge happening on January 7th, 2023 at Wave Beach, hosted by VJ Adams. It's a place where you just get to play games, have fun. And yes, you can be a part of the conversation and also be one of the lucky winners of this ticket that I'm giving away. I still have Jason Rogue in the studio. Hi, guys. Prophet Elijah. Okay. <laughs> Jason, this energy of yours is different. Though. This social media versus reality. I mean, oh my. Don't believe everything you see on social media. Do not believe everything that you um, see on social So what have you decided that, you have, what have you resolved not to do this year for you? Hmm. For me personally, I've resolved to be a wicked person this year. Wicked? Yes. I'm going to be telling a lot of people no. Wow. I'm going to be, I'm going to be paying evil with evil. Uh -uh. I am going to be, you want to hear now? I'm yeah, I want to hear your honest truth, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, we're not judgmental here, so we're the free. Truth, the truth is, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be telling a lot of people no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be more comfortable being the bad guy in people's story. I'm wow. also going to be very, um, should I say, very intentional about the books I read. Wow. I'm going to be very intentional about the things I consume. I'm going to be very intentional about the things I give my time. It just there's just going to be a lot of you know presence there, there used to be a lot of spontaneity and a lot of you know why um, why why are you deciding to be the bad guy in people's story or you don't mind being the bad guy in people's story because, that's that's really scary because being a bad guy in people's story doesn't make you a bad guy it just makes you a a person that has stopped caring how people see you hmm. right and you just want to live according to the truth of your reality hmm. so in a case where you hear that i'm a bad person you first of all ask yourself, what do you do to that guy? Hmm. So the thing is, um, I'm just going to try as much as possible this year to do less of people pleasing, more of um, prioritization and, hmm. you know, just become very intentional and present with my decisions. Okay, sounds, I mean, now that you broke it down, sounds like not less scary. I'm still a wicked person, don't worry. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you too. Okay, <laughs> solutions versus resolutions, okay. which is more effective? So, Solutions. instead of saying, I resolve, I resolve, I resolve. Okay, let me take another call. I hope that this call goes through now. Hello? Hello? Uh, my callers are really calling in. My viewers and listeners are calling in, but I can't hear a thing. I cannot hear a thing. I think it must be a technical issue. It must be the network. But the number to call is 0705 We're talking about New Year's resolution, powerful or pointless. So we're talking about resolutions versus solutions. Okay. Yeah. So um, I, would, I need a bit of context for the resolutions or solutions. I mean, it's just as simple as, as it sounds. Would you rather be out there saying, I'm resolving, I'm resolving, re, I'm re, resolving to do something, or rather say, I have a problem, I'm solving it, I have a drinking problem. I'm I'm giving a solution. I have a this. I'm finding the solution. I have I have a weight problem. I'm finding the solution rather than in quotes saying solution solution. You are not. You will just come and start resolving to do it. So so it's like it largely depends on what works for everybody, right? People work with different um, information than the people respond to information and you know information differently. So um, how will I put it now? 
if you're someone that is very decisive, mm -hmm. you can just basically decide to solve your problem without waiting for the end of the year or mm -hmm. without waiting for a new year. But if you're someone that needs a bit of accountability, like many people need a bit of, um, you know, push. They mm -hmm. need someone to remind them that you say you do this, you say you do this, you mm -hmm. say. If not, they won't do it. And it's just the way the world works, mm -hmm. right? So it's like it depends on your personality and it depends on what works for you. Mm -hmm. You can decide to be providing solutions. And if that providing solution does not give you the kick you want, you might decide to put it in a, like a more long-term thing like resolution. Hmm. It largely depends on what works for you and how best you execute uh, your, your own happiness. What is the hardest part of resolution or resolving? I know resolving has to do with having a firm decision yeah. to do something, but what's the hardest part of it? I think it's the part where... The hardest part is, is the point where reality meets expectation. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> the part where you resolve to you when know, life hits you when life hits you resolve to get married this year to the love of your life like you know what I'm going to marry this girl I've been dating for like 5 years and today I want to make her my queen and there's then no money. 2 months later they serve you breakfast and like yeah yeah, yeah what's or going on or they stack you at the job no you're most likely not to get breakfast I mean if you're not lady. dating someone that is on a, on a, on a, if you're not dating an unemployed person you can still get married now if she has money I don't get it if okay, like you, so she will feel she will, she will fund the marriage. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to have the argument now. <laughs> oh, so you don't mind the woman funding the marriage as long is that as what you are it's resolving it's to do in 2023. If why am I marrying someone that cannot fund our marriage? Hey, ah. you didn't tell me that you're into sugar mummies now. My no, I'm into oh gosh, we are, we are debating, but I'm we're into, not debating, it's just a slice, it's, it's, it's just a side thing. So, I think I mean, I'm into competent women. Oh yes, I'm into women that if I'm dropping the ball, you pick it up. Eh? Yes, I, I know my position. So on you things. want to be dropping the ball in 2020? It's not what I want. 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 It's a case of what should be. God said you are a helper. God not said that you are a charity case. So you help me when I cannot do it. Thanks mm. to you and God bless. And will you help her when she cannot? Of do course, it? my responsibility. I think it's ninety percent of the time is going to be me. But the ten percent, do it with happiness and don't complain. All right, let's let's come back to the conversation. I don't have a new year resolution. Is it bad for me? Depends on what you want to achieve in life. Okay. If you want to achieve, um, if you want to, have, do we want to pick that? Um, a call. Yes. Oh, okay. I think we lost the call already. Okay. We so, lost um, the call. It depends on what. Let you me want. just remind them. The number to call is zero seven zero five nine nine three six nine three seven. We're talking about New Year's resolutions. Do you have any? Do you have none? Is it powerful? Is it pointless? I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your opinions. The ones you've been setting all these years has it helped you? Has it empowered you? Or is it just a you know pure nonsense? I really want to hear your thoughts. So call in. You be a part of the conversation. And yes, Jason is still here with me in the studio. Hi guys. As you were saying. So it largely depends on what works for you. Mm -hmm. the, um, please, can, can we go back to the question again? You said, New Year's resolution, mm -hmm. I don't have one. Is it bad for me? So, it depends on, like I said, it depends on what works for you. Okay. If you have something, if you are a person that works best with New, New Year's re resolution, you like being held accountable, mm -hmm. and you are someone that is adequately prepared, you should have a New Year's resolution. If it doesn't work for you, don't bother. Don't give it to peer pressure. It all depends on you. But so, I think what if I have a life resolution? Yeah, Rather than New Year resolution. So the thing is this: every building is a function of individual, the, the collective power of individual individual bricks, mm -hmm. right? The life resolution is like having a an a building, mm -hmm. but the res, um, the New Year resolutions or things like that are like individual bricks mm -hmm. that help you give your life resolutions. Mm -hmm. Having a life resolution is nice, but the ability to break down things into small achievable goals mm -hmm. is where the new year resolutions come into play mm. do you get so like i said it depends on what works for you if you mm. have a life resolution and you just want to be achieving it on the go mm. fine but it usually helps to break that's why banks have financial year you have q1 q2 q3 and organizations to you know mm. help you make decisions that overall would lead you to the point well let's you... not lie this new year resolution new year resolution is it new really let me just take this call before i drop my thoughts hello Hello, good evening. Oh, finally, my first caller for the year. Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Matthew. Your name is what? Matthew. Matthew, Matthew from where? I'm calling from Via. From Via. Thank you, Matthew, for calling. So talk to me. Ah, hmm. New Year is a That's sign. You said what? <laughs> <laughs> the way you are signing. Eh? Talk to me. What's on your mind? Is New Year's Nothing. resolution, is it powerful or pointless? Do you have New Year resolutions? It's very powerful. Hmm. 
Why do you say that? Yeah. Um, for me, it's actually something that reminds you, like, okay, at the end of the year, things you set for yourself, were you able to achieve them? If you are not able to achieve them, then you look for new ways, new strategies, what was lacking, what do you need to do, who do you need to meet, and all that. So all those things, you need to put them together, look at where you um, you didn't get right, then try to fix it. Hmm. So it's actually a reminder, something that tells you that, okay, you should have done this, or you should have done it this way. Yeah, yeah but, 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 but I feel like New Year's resolution kind of like puts pressure on you. I remember one time, like two, three years ago, when I used to have like New Year's resolution, I want to do this, I want to do that. Some people have a bunch, a whole list of it. And then life happens. Sometimes these things don't happen the way we want it. And then it, 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 it moves from being powerful at the beginning of the year to being poisonous. You know, in fact, the topic should be powerful or poisonous. To being poisonous, maybe later half the year, you start feeling like, I've not done this. Let's look at my friend is doing this. I feel, I feel down. I'm dying. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. What about that? Have you, is it all your New Year's resolution that you fulfilled that has come to pass? Talk to it's me. Actually, it's actually something that lets you know that, okay, probably you are not moving in the pace you are supposed to move. Hmm. Understand? Because there are things that you are supposed to have been doing, or maybe along the line you got distracted, hmm. you understand? And then you are not doing it. So mid-year, you just remember that, okay, this was actually was what I planned for. Hmm. But, it has not been achieved. So mm. you actually remind yourself that, okay, you still have a few months mm -hmm. to go. So you can still do something about it. Mm. You understand? So that is what, at the end of the year, you now sit down, look at the previous year, look at the things you really planned for yourself, and see if you actually achieved it. And if you didn't, then you look for something else to do that can make change that plan and make it work for you. I so really, you I really like your thoughts on this one. But why do I have to wait to the end of the year to do that recap? on my life no you don't have to wait for uh wait till the end of the year but it's actually something new year resolution is actually something that spreads across the 12 months of the year hmm. you understand it's not something that you just fix between january february and march it's hmm. actually something that you think you'll find for this year this is what i want hmm. you understand mm -hmm. so as time goes on, if you are able to achieve it before the year uh, end, fine. Mm -hmm. And if you are not able to achieve it before the year end, then you you should know what you should do mm -hmm. and how you should do it. Okay, okay, Matthew. So Thank you so true. much for your thoughts. I really appreciate it. You have very, very positive opinions. Thank you so much for calling. I'm actually a first-time caller. Oh, you're a first-time caller. Woo! I don't have those shaker that I used to do. <laughs> but thank you for calling Matthew from B. I really appreciate it. So yes, please stay tuned to the end of the show. You might just be a lucky winner of our C um, Celebrity Video Game Challenge tickets to, you know, VJ Adams events on the January 7th, 2023. Thank you so much for calling. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. So yes, I appreciate his thoughts. Okay. But I also feel, he said, it is spread between January to December. It's um, 12, 12 months. You have to look it. I understand. He said, oh, it will help you recap and rate your performance maybe over the year. That's what it sounded to me. But what are your thoughts regarding, oh, why should it be a yearly thing? Um, like I said, these things are helped set to guide us, right? And help, help put us um, in a place where we can break down larger goals into smaller achievable goals. Mm -hmm. For many people, it's quarterly. For many people, it's monthly. For many people, it's yearly. Mm. You get the years like the year New Year resolution is like the max time it takes. Mm -hmm. You get. I'm pretty sure someone like you, you probably do your thing on the go. You want to do this, you get, you get it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm. a lot of a lot of people they need that year reminder. They need that fresh energy after they go to cross overnight mm. and they feel energized. Then they not be like you know what this is my New Year resolution. It helps, but it also messes you up if you are not achieving it. Which is why it is important. Before you go for any battle, you should p properly train. So you should prepare yourself. If you are going to enter into next year, 2024, mm. start preparing for 2024 this year. Discipline yourself, plan, and, you know, make... You can't keep doing the same routine and expect change. Mm. Let's take another caller. Hello? 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 
All right, please do well to call back. The number to call is 0705-993-6937. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters, and we're talking about New Year's resolution. Is it powerful or pointless? Is it powerful or poisonous? Hello. Hello. Okay, what's wrong with our phone lines today, though? Like, today is New Year. My viewers and callers, I really do want to talk to me. So what's going on? All right, you know the number to call. Definitely scrolling on your screen. And I'm still here with content creator, creative director, Jason Rogue. Jason Rogue. <laughs> Thanks to yes, I'm, express I'm, exp I'm experiencing Jason Rogue's fresh energy, you know, right here in, um, on the show. So, but I feel like, again, when it comes to, um, to New Year's resolution, I feel like another thing that influences that buzz mm -hmm. and that hype could be Correct me if I'm wrong. Could be that December, December is the year where people have done a lot of bad moves. You know, people have done a lot of bodies, you know, eating, stayed away from the gym. Were you at the gym this December? Yes, I was. How often? I went Just for a few days. Why do you think so? I'm asking. I went all the days. I went. You went on the 25th too? I, if, and I, if, it was open, if it was going to be open on the 25th, the only days I didn't go was the day that the gym was not open. Okay, that aside. But I'm saying that. People have done all the bodies, you know, fornicated, adultery. <laughs> Why to judge? Don't, don't <laughs> things that they're not supposed to do, that they told them, say, don't do. Go back okay. to smoking. Go back to drinking. Don't know the things that they say they won't do. And so, that January 1st is like, oh, I'll do like all a, the bad like things. A, it's like a wake-up call. <laughs> I'll do all the bad things in December. And then January 1st, oh, yeah. Bera, Bera, I'm not going to. I'm going to come back. You to have it. a point. I, I have think, a point. Wow. I think that also fuels the whole New Year resolution thing when people have, you know, gone overboard mm -hmm. and they're like overcompensate for their <laughs> for their the outlandish spending or their indiscriminate spending. Oh. With like, you know what? After I've done a lot of bad things, I'm yes. a good boy. Yes. But they end up they end, realize that you know what? The good thing about this whole thing is in February, it's February 14th. <laughs> And what's going to they'll they'll come back again? They'll go back to their normal oh old days. So, which is why I said you this need to life. prepare. Mm. You need to prepare. All right, I'll take one call up before I go on this break. All right, Mr. Call, this is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. We're talking about New Year's resolution powerful or pointless? Powerful or poisonous? I'll go on this break right now. When I get back, I want to take more calls from you and more conversations with Jason Oibo. Stay tuned. <laughs> Home to about 20 million people are sitting right at the bank of the Atlantic Ocean, Lagos is the economic nerve center of Nigeria's economy. Now, with a population of this size, there are bound to be issues, and with the city of Lagos, many of these issues need urgent attention. What the government and the private sector are doing to collaborate to ensure that all of these issues are brought to an end is what this program will look to highlight and bring to you. I am Will Sinomoni, and this is Lagos. Nigerian political environment is dynamic and unpredictable. With everybody playing their part, the question on everybody's lips is how come our leaders are not providing the necessary needed purposeful leadership? As he them, he with us. As he with us, he go oh, yeah, yeah. So who do we blame? The leaders or the followers? Join Chris Kende Wandu CKN as he speaks with the movers and shakers in the Nigerian political arena on Inside Politics, Inside with, Politics CKN. with CKN every Friday at 8 p.m. exclusive to Silver TV and Silver News 24. It's a must watch. Inside Politics with CKN, speaking truth to power. Our lions, elephants, gorillas, and pangolins have declined dramatically. But we can change that and become proud Nigerians. Please tell your friends and family to say no to illegal bushmeat. 
keep them wild, keep us safe. This is Deep Waters with Deborah Waters. And of course, we're talking about New Year's resolution. Is it powerful or pointless? Like the song just played. If we don't motivate yourself in this new year, who will? Yeah, I'm still right here with Jason Oyibo, my motivation is for today, motivating me in all ramifications. I'm what I do. That's <laughs> I like the way you just flow into character. I mean, eh? Yeah, no. That, yeah. That, that's as, a, as, the, as the actor that you are. Whatever. You have to be <laughs> discovered. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can be a part of this conversation by calling in on 0705-993-6937. I want to know about your New Year's resolution or if you have any, if you have none, if you agree with it, if you don't agree with it, if you think it's powerful, if you think it's pointless. During, on the, during the break, I saw a lot of calls calling me, so feel free to call in again so that I can actually hear your thoughts because we are actually having deep, meaningful conversation this year on the topic new year's resolution powerful or pointless and of course i'm still giving out four tickets away to the celebrity video game challenge their prizes to be won on the 7th of january 2023 hosted by dj and vj adams and happening at wave beach so yes be a part of the conversation i might just be the lucky winner of this very beautiful exciting ticket so yes back to our conversation mm -hmm. so yes before the break we we're talking about all oh, the hype of which you know, yeah, and you said you quite agree with me on that. Like I said, I agree with you on that, but I, say, I said that I also said that these um things, um, you were like um people have to it to overcompensate for their December behavior. Mm -hmm. I mean, I agree with that. <laughs> that makes sense. It makes sense mm -hmm. because we've all had moments where we we'll drink, and in the morning, I'm like, God, I'll never drink again. <laughs> and two weeks later, you're in the club turning up. So it's it is what it is. I it guess. is what it is. But, but who are we to judge, though? Because ultimately, we are just human beings, and mm -hmm. no one has life figured out. And like it or not, many people might never achieve. Most people will not achieve their dreams. What keeps them going is hope. I it's, think it's okay to judge sometimes. Why? Because okay especially when you sometimes. know what the person wants, like you know what the person stands for. Let's take this caller. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for calling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Tony, calling from Lagos. Hi, Tony from Lagos. Thank you for calling. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. Yes, talk to me. Um, I feel like a New Year resolution is a very powerful thing. Mm -hmm. because it helps in um, growth and also helps with people who have this um, OCD. Hmm. And it helps... Um, it's like turning a new leaf. It's like mm. um, I want to change from. Like you look at yourself, what um, <clears throat> the kind of person I was last year. What I want to add to myself. Mm. Is there any bad behavior I want to change? Mm -hmm. Is there any new thing I would like to add to my um, self growth? Mm -hmm. so, okay, so you think it's powerful? Yes. Alrighty. Thank you so much for calling. Appreciate. I'll take another caller. Hello. Hello. All right, please do us a call. I want to hear your thoughts on the topic. New Year's resolution, powerful or poisonous? I should have just made that a topic. Or poisonous or powerful or pointless. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, so before the break, we were talking about something. Yeah, overcompensating. Like yes. I said, you say, you say it's okay to judge. I mean, holding people accountable is different from judging. Right? Judging comes from a place of not empathizing with the person's um, struggles. Why must we empathize? The point, the point of this is resolving. Ah, see. see, let me tell you something, Jason. It's like saying, I know Jason now, and Jason wants to be, or he wants to be a macho man, right? That's Jason's dream, to become a macho and, and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So, I know Jason, this is what he wants. Then next day, every new year, I see Jason literally resolving to continue his journey and then one week or two weeks after he goes back to eating pizzas and and all that, that? I then i that? are you asking me not to judge jason after jason have told me 
what so, his dream is and who what he represents. You, at the beginning of the show, you asked the question. You're like, what is the hardest part of this whole stuff? Like mm -hmm. I said, when expectation meets reality, what if Jason's at the point where um, Jason is depressed and sad, and he goes into this anxiety um, disorder where he has to eat? Mm -hmm. What if Jason is hypoglycemic? Mm -hmm. What if Jason has a sugar addiction. Mm -hmm. What if, or what if Jason is going through something, or what if that time you see him is the only time where something happens? Mm -hmm. The reason why I say we should not judge is because we will always want to um, adopt the moral high ground until we're in that position. Mm -hmm. As a human being, she never say she never say it can never be me. Because mm. people that say it can never be me have never been in positions where they have been stressed. But that doesn't mean that we should not put some boundaries and some firmness. You know, resolution is about being firm. It so, says so, the ability to be firm in your decision. So we are all products of what we have learned and our environment, right? Mm -hmm. You were probably um, you that doesn't be, that believes that people should be held accountable and judged. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were a yeah, product of an environment that held you accountable. So it's like normal for you. Mm -hmm. the, the concept of sacrificing and um, delayed gratification is not new. So you can probably explore. Mm -hmm. What if someone was in an environment where they have to just survive, mm. move to, from day one to day two? So what are you saying in that situation? They shouldn't have resolutions? So I think, I don't think... Or when they fail at their resolution, we should leave them to just keep so failing? it comes from a place of, I don't think we should belittle their efforts, we should mm -hmm. educate them and mm -hmm. assist. Because you don't know what people are going through. True. In their head, in their everyday life. You don't live with people. People are products of different environments, So, right? but where do you draw the line between when somebody is going through something and when somebody is not being firm enough and just being lazy? Let me give you an illustration that will help you out. In university, I had an extra year in school. Mm. People that see him for us, I'd be like, ah, I thought this guy was brilliant. He's an old dude, doesn't know book and everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 things like that. Mm -hmm. I had an extra year. It was very embarrassing when I spent the extra year in school. Wow. But this is what happened here. What? At some point, I realized I was not studying a course I was meant to study in university. Mm. So it became a struggle. I struggled with ADHD. Mm. That's another thing. I also broke my arm in my okay, final year. It, I think, I, I, no, the attention deficit hyperactive disorder is like yeah. a, it's like a, it's like a medical condition where oh, wow. you have a bit of a focus problem hmm. and have this um, dopamine addiction. Hmm. But, but that's by the way. So that's one thing. Someone will just say, I'll be like, ah, it doesn't know book. Hmm. Will do. Mm -hmm. After everything, is still failed. His hmm. mates are graduating, is there. Hmm. But these are the things I go through. Hmm. Now, I graduated from university. I got a job for many people that graduated before me. Mm -hmm. I probably do better in life than many people that graduated before me. Hmm. Not because I'm trying to brag, you know, brag but because hmm. I'm trying to let you know that there's no, there's no one thing that defines hmm. success. So she empathize mm -hmm. rather than criticize. Hmm. You get well, that's, that's really deep, actually. That means we shouldn't just be too hard on ourselves. Don't be hard on yourself yeah, because it's one life. the flow. Because you can put all your eggs in all the basket and do all the right steps and still fail. And still fail. So what will you now do? Yeah. So, so that's what's up. Mm, that, that makes a lot of sense. You know, take it easy with life. Set your New Year resolution according to Jason. But don't be too hard on yourself. And be flexible. Be flexible. What was that thing you said about the dream should be constant, but the rules can be what? So your goals... Um, your goal should be constant, mm -hmm. but the process or the route should be flexible. Mm, so that's that's it. absolutely beautiful. I think that's my quote of the day. The, okay. Your goal should be constant and the route should be flexible. I'm t that's my take out. I wonder what my viewers and listeners take out are. Thank you so much, Jason, for coming on the show, for so sharing your thoughts, for being completely vulnerable with me on the show. Thank I'm sure you. my viewers and listeners are very grateful. I can see more calls coming in, but guys, I can't take more calls. I've been here for the past one hour. I did not call. Now you're not calling me. Call again on Wednesday. I'll be live again on Wednesday at 5 p.m. So make it a day, <laughs> a day with me. Jason, we want to find you. You know, people with such, you know, um, people who want to be a part of, you know, your your connections and your network. How can they reach you? I mean, it's my simple. My social media handle, you said it, Jason Rogue, J-A-Y-S-O-N-R-O-G-U-E. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Mm. And just hit me up out. I'm open to having conversations with you and just... Yeah, and especially on that thing you talked about, HG8 something. It I'm, I'm very curious about it. I'll go and read up on it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All righty. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Have a great um, new year ahead. You too. And to all my listeners and viewers, I wish you a great new year ahead. And I have another show coming up on Wednesday at 5 p.m. So, yes. And, and Friday at 5 p.m. So, make it a date. Yes, you have to do the giveaway. We have to give out one ticket to my caller. And just two people were able to call. The first caller was Matthew, and the second caller was I can't even remember the name. But you have to you have to pick pick first one person. One of the the 
I have to pick one person. Yes. Let's give it to the first person that called. Okay, that's the first person. That's Matthew. And yes. like you say it's his first call. Like, use that one to rope us in. You As in, you guys just guilt tripped us. <laughs> well, I think all, all right, Matthew, please reach me on Instagram at Debra underscore Waters, D E B R A H underscore W A T E R S, to claim your celebrity video game challenge ticket, you know, for the January 7th, 2023. Thank you for watching once again and have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Say bye bye to my. Bye bye guys. Have a lovely. Why are you nodding your head like a good man? Bye bye. I thought they are seeing me. So. Uh, bye bye. Sorry. They are seeing bye -bye. you actually. Sorry guys. Bye bye. <laughs>